Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my um, playthrough of GTA 4. We still got a few things to do in GTA 4, some of the random characters and um, also the um, uh, the Fixer Hitman missions we'll still have coming up. And then we'll move on to the Lost and Damned and the Ballad. Um, but I wanted to do Eddie Lowe, this guy here, on a separate part because I wanted to talk specifically about this character. But this guy here, this guy is the most creepiest and disturbing GTA character of all time, at least in my opinion. This guy is really messed up. And if you thought Trevor was bad, this guy is a whole different story. Now, this guy can only be found in Alderney um, at this area right here, and he can only be found late at night. So, like, you know, other random characters, they'll have, like, you know, specific times, like, you know, midday to late afternoon. But this guy will only spawn late at night. So let's go talk to him. Hey there, pal. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing out here so late? What's it to you? Nothing. Just trying to make conversation. Just trying to keep the loneliness at bay. You know. Whatever you say. Hey, uh, you're not from around here, are you? No, I'm from Florida. <laughs> you're funny. You're a real joker. I knew a joker once. Lovely guy. Came to a rather unfortunate end, though. But I suppose we all do. In the end. Okay. Wait, 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 mister. Um, do you ever wonder, do you ever wonder if animals, they masturbate? Okay, listen, friend, you're really creeping me out. No, it's a silly question. I know, silly question. It's just I was wondering, because maybe that's what makes us different uh, from the animals. I mean, masturbating. Because it turns out we don't have souls, and animals use tools and all that kind of thing. So maybe it's the masturbating. Maybe that's God's real gift to us. Okay, I'd really like to get back to planet Earth, so maybe I'll see no, you wait, later. No, wait, wait a minute, mister. I'm sorry. I'm strange. I'm a weird guy. I know. <laughs> Hey, hey, do you have a car? Can you get one? Why? Because I have this rather heavy bag, and I really need a lift. I can pay you. <sighs> okay, okay. Thanks. I'm Eddie, by the way. Eddie Lowe. Yes, yeah. fine. Come on. So, like, I don't know what to say, really. This, this um, bag is awful heavy. You mind taking us down to the docks? This guy is really messed up. Oh, shit. Timor and Timor is My bad, my bad. What's you scary about to catch? You going somewhere? I'm not going anywhere. My friends are though. They're heading off. <laughs> What's so creepy about this guy is he's so joke. calm. Joke? Joke? Eddie never jokes. Eddie needs to be taken seriously. They laughed at him once, but you can't laugh without a tongue. You can't point if you haven't got fingers, can you? That's what daddy told me, late at night, in my room. Easy there, buddy. We're friends, aren't we? We can talk to one another, share things. Spill your guts. Ew. I don't like doing that. It's smelly. I'm kidding. Isn't the world strange and nasty? I mean, a girl looks at you. But it turns out she doesn't love you at all. It turns out she's a whore. You're kind of a strange guy, Eddie. Have you ever considered psychotherapy? You've got issues. My only issue is I don't accept the world's bullshit. So yeah, he's really messed up. And now he has Nico take him down to the docks here late at night. Wait here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. Think about what's in that bag that he's carrying. Glad I got rid of that. There's a cop well, standing right there, and he did it. nothing. People can be so narrow-minded. Can, can you take me to Westminster? I like Westminster. Lots of nice boys there. It's one of my hunting grounds. Never gets you off, friend. Mm, yeah, I like boys. I like girls, too. Both are fun in different ways, the same ways as well. 
You were all the same under those layers of hair and skin and fat. Everyone's got the same rotten livers and black hearts underneath it all. Sure. You should visit planet Earth sometime. Where are you from, pal of mine? What's your accent? Are you from uh, East Europe? Romania? Bulgaria? Balkans. Hey, you're a smart guy. Eddie's smart. Eddie's real smart. They always told him that. Eddie, you're smart. Why don't you play with the other kids? Don't touch him like that, Eddie. Stop it, Eddie. Uh, stop it. Yeah, stop it, Eddie, please. <laughs> Your accent's funny. You know that you can hear accents when people scream? I can tell what borough people are from just by hearing them scream. I've heard enough Alderney accents tonight. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I want to hear some nice, rounded, Algonquin voices. Please stop! <laughs> Please stop! <laughs> do, do you see that? You're making me a little uncomfortable, Eddie. I hope you're joking. I'm sorry, pal. Of course I'm joking. Do you think that I'm weird? Please. I'm just a no-bullshit kind of guy. So, so, what's your name? And what do you do? Huh? Those are normal questions. Nico Bellin. And I do what I can to survive. To get by. That's cryptic. Things must be difficult for you. Do you hurt other people, Nico? If they get in my way. I wouldn't want to get in your way, Nico. I wouldn't want you to get in mine either. Oh, we're good friends now, uh huh? Special friends. Yeah, so uh, you can Here see. We are. Eddie's off the hunt for a nice boy. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, friend. I'll see you later, man eater. I feel really uncomfortable even playing this mission. Yeah, if you thought Trevor was bad, this guy is a whole different story. But he comes back in um uh he comes back in another random encounter. So let's go to his second random encounter then. So a few days later, you can actually meet Eddie Lowe right here. And this is um uh at late at night also again. This is his last encounter. Hey there, pal. Hey. Hey. Nico, the Belkin sociopath. Eddie Lowe, the animal masturbator. <laughs> you and your wicked sense of humor. You're quite naughty. Quite, quite naughty. Whatever. Quite naughty. Do you like to get spanked? Excuse me? <laughs> no, nothing silly. I'm just being silly. Silly little Billy, that's me. <laughs> I, I like it, though. I like to get spanked. Fuck off. You're creeping me out. No, I don't want to make you angry, Nico. I don't want to be creepy. It's just my way. Well, your way is not co way cool. Is not cool. Not cool? You say Eddie's not cool? I don't fit in with the in crowd? Well, Mrs. Eddie's taken your star son, your prized little quarterback, and fucked him in the ass, and then tied him up, strangled him into knots. And your daughter? Your pretty little daughter, Mrs. Abrahams? Eddie's ripped Look at Nico's out her face. intestines just to see if he could feel anything. And you know what? He couldn't. He couldn't. You should get laid or something. Oh, I just did. A little jogger down by the water. But you know what, handsome? I got a hunger tonight that can't be sated! Come here! Huh. Ah. Whoa. Now you can try to take his knife. Damn. If you take his knife, he will actually run away. And, um... And the thing about this mission is a lot of missions, you know, they have a fail text, like it'll tell you you failed uh, to complete the mission at the bottom of the screen in red. But the thing about Eddie Lowe is um, uh, his um, uh, his random encounter, if you actually fail it, and I'll let him get away just one time here, just to show you guys. The text is actually really creepy. Eddie Lowe is still out there, waiting. Oh man, now that text, that fail text is just really creepy that he got away. Eddie Lowe is out there still waiting. Pretty disturbing. So let's go back there and finish off Eddie then. Whoa, whoa, okay.
Damn, okay. Okay, we got his knife now. And now we're gonna give Eddie Lowe a present here. Man, he can run. Okay. Get back here. I think this will eventually kill him, actually. Oh well, okay. Okay, I think that did the trick then. And there we go, Eddie's not gonna hurt anyone else. Nico saved a bunch of people doing that. But let's go over to the internet cafe, because the internet cafe, um, uh, there's actually, um, a few things you can read online about Eddie. Serial killer strikes again. Cops still baffle as what to do. The serial killer who has been beheading joggers and other people foolish enough to go out late at night on their own has struck again. This time it's the same old story. A young victim found in a sports bag. No head and cops left rubbing theirs as they wonder what to call him. Detective John Atkinson, who has been on the case since the beginning, made the following statement. It's a great tragedy. People are focusing on the wrong things until the general public starts to focus on what matters. We don't have a chance of catching this guy. People are going to have to tell me. Do they want the movie to be serious or of a comic twist? Should I have a love interest? What about my partner? Will he be older and wiser but close to retirement? A man who dies in the pen penial mate scene or a young punk who needs a wisecracking older guy to show him the ropes? I'm really struggling with my first draft of the screenplay and people are just going to have to be patient so the detective doesn't care. A detective wants a movie made, made out of this case. And then a day later, we have this. Serial killer found dead. He has a name, Eddie Lowe. The serial killer um, uh, they couldn't name has been found dead. The killer is believed to have killed up to 10 people over the last few months, usually joggers or nighttime strollers. Police believe he attacked the wrong person and was himself killed in a fight. Detective John Atkinson told the newspaper, It is very disappointing. I was just about to make an arrest. I'd solved the, the case. His name was Eddie Lowe. He lived in Dukes. I was literally heading over to his house. When the news came in, another body had turned up. Obviously, the screenplay I'm writing about the case will now have a slightly different ending, in which I make the arrest and it will carry the subtitle based on true events, because that will make a better story. The mayor commented, this is not the LCBD's finest hour. We have a killer on the loose for months and no leads. Then they give him this stupid nickname, Eddie Lowe. What kind of nickname is that? Heads will roll for this. Oh, bad jokes, I mean. People will suffer. Eddie Lowe is the killer's actual nickname. He was a loner from Dukes who apparently kept an account of his actions online and here and on the popular networking site, My Room. And so this is um uh this is Eddie Lowe's um uh, own website. It's um uh it's it's a bit it's a bit disturbing. But uh this is um this is Eddie Lowe's website. Um Eddie Lowe um Eddie Lowe um uh, uh the Slayer. Eddie Lowe fifth Slayer. Still no friends in my room, and I made a real effort to be approachable in my profile as well. People don't get Eddie, and Eddie doesn't get people. Eddie had a girlfriend once. He kept her in the cellar. In fact, she must still be down there. Maybe it's because I'm an only child? Well, I am now anyway. They found Eddie's brother in the pond. When will that tap stop dripping? Drip, drip, drip. I can feel the itch starting again. The itch that has to be scratched. I must get stronger. You think Eddie's invisible, do you? You, you think you can look at your feet and walk on by? Nobody listens to Eddie, but you will. You will hear my silence and feel my breath. Um, is something in French? I don't know what this means. Um, uh, I am the monster, maybe that's what it means? I think a J Suisse, I know that means I am. And then un means uh in French, so probably monster. I'm the monster. Um, but yeah, this, this guy is really creepy. So Eddie Lowe is the Liberty City serial killer. Boo Boo Wilkins has ruined my day again. That cat is more devious than I ever imagined. I can see ridic ridicule in its eyes. The animal actually believes that it is superior to me in some way. Must be terrible being, uh, but that's what happens when you decide the litter tray is optional. Eddie propped in the litter tray once. It's not so bad. Six days ago, Eddie slept in the garden last night. Oh, what fun, what delightful fun. Under the apple tree, then the birds started chirping, drilling into my head with their messages of doom and subversion. I remember playing in that tree as a boy, little Eddie with his 
little peanut. Look at low. It's like a maggot. How I hated those show uh, sh showers. So many schools, so many showers, so many people to find. Remember me, Pennington? Remember me, Owens? Remember me, Dodson? Eddie's all grown up now. Wants to show you what he knows about musco skeletal manipulation. The itch is getting worse. What day is it? Tuesday, Friday? Is it fish today? Must get out for a wander. Scry Damn. And then his, let's read his final one. So his final one is 40 minutes ago. Nobody enters the house ever except for Boo Boo Wilkins, of course. Here, kitty kitty. He killed a bird today. Damn. Yeah, this is, the, the human race is in decline, but Eddie gave natural selection another helping hand today. I left a present for you in a sports bag, Detective Atkinson. Another diseased soul vaccinated with a blowtorch and a trowel. Do you see me now? Fate is always around the corner. Next step, a heartbeat away, watching, whispering, waiting. Yeah, so I think it's good that um, uh, Nico got rid of this guy. Um, I think that's definitely um, a good thing. Nico has definitely saved a lot of lives by doing so. Um, so that, that, like I said, that is like, you know, the uh, creepiest and most disturbing GTA character of all time. And, you know, the thing is, I can't imagine another GTA game, you know, making a character like this today. Um, you know, it's just GTA 5 is so much different, and, you know, I guess we'll see where they go with, with, um, with GTA 6 one day. But, like, yeah, this is definitely, um, uh, I think, personally, my opinion, the creepiest and most disturbing GTA character of all time. And I know that on the radio, they actually talk about Eddie Lowe, but I didn't get any kind of, you know, Liberty City news. So I've been listening in on it. I didn't get the broadcast for the news. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I guess that's it for this part, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll have the Hitman Fixer missions up on the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.